Imagine if fighting cancer didn't require years of toxic treatments, endless doctor visits, or painful side effects. Imagine if, instead, your own body could be awakened, your immune system re-energized to find and destroy cancer cells on its own, not just once, but continuously, keeping the disease from ever coming back. This isn't science fiction. It's the vision of Dr. Patrick Sunxiang, a surgeon, scientist, and biotech entrepreneur who has spent decades challenging the way we think about cancer. In his eyes, cancer is not just a lump of cells that grows out of control. It's a deeper problem a breakdown of the immune system that normally protects us from threats. His mission has been to figure out how to reboot that defense system so it can do what it was designed to do, recognize, attack, and eliminate abnormal cells before they become life. At the center of his work is a groundbreaking therapy called Antiva, not designed to poison tumors directly like chemotherapy, but to supercharge the body's own T cells and natural killer cells, two of the immune system's most powerful weapons. Instead of relying on external drugs to kill cancer, Dr. Sun Sheng wants to transform the immune system itself into a living treatment, one that adapts, remembers, and protects for the long term. In this video, we'll break down his bold new approach into clear, simple insights. You'll discover why the old ways of treating cancer cutting it out, blasting it with radiation, or dousing the body with toxic chemicals are no longer enough. You'll learn how Dr. Sun Shang's vision represents a complete shift in thinking, away from destroying tumors and toward repairing the immune system itself, and because you, Dan T, have to wait for the next big drug to support your immune health. We'll also share practical, science-backed tips from four leading longevity and health researchers, Dr. Rhonda Patrick, Dr. David Sinclair, Dr. Walter Longo, and Dr. Jeffrey Bland. They'll explain how everyday choices in nutrition, lifestyle, and environment can strengthen your T-cells, boost resilience, and help your body defend against not just cancer, but a wide range of diseases. This is more than a story about one scientist or one drug. It's about a movement to rethink cancer from the ground up, and about how each of us can take small but powerful steps today to support the immune system we already have, the cancer problem, and why the old approach fails for more than half a century. The mainstream medical system has waged war on cancer with the same set of weapons, surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. The logic was simple find the tumor, cut it out, burn it, or poison it until it shrinks. And while these approaches have saved lives, they come with a painful truth, they often damage the patient almost as much as they damage the disease. Chemotherapy drugs, for example, don't distinguish between a rapidly dividing cancer cell and a healthy cell in your gut, your skin, or your hair follicles. Radiation may destroy tumors, but it can also leave lasting scars in surrounding tissues. Surgery can remove visible growths, but it can't always catch the microscopic cancer cells hiding nearby or circulating in the blood. What's more troubling is that even when these treatments seem to work, the relief is often temporary. Tumors can come back, sometimes stronger and more resistant than before. In many cases, patients find themselves caught in a cycle treat, relapse, treat again while their quality of life steadily declines. Despite billions of dollars and decades of research, cancer rates are not falling. In fact, recent data show something even more alarming, cancers are rising among younger people. In their 20s, 30s, and 40s an age group once considered low risk rates of colon, breast, and other cancers are climbing. These are people who should be in the prime of health, yet they're facing diseases once thought to be almost exclusively linked with aging. So, what's going wrong? The problem may be that we've been treating cancer as if it were an isolated invader or growth, to be attacked directly rather than what it truly is a symptom of a deeper system failure. Your body actually has its own built-in defense against cancer, the immune system. Every single day, abnormal cells appear inside you tiny genetic mistakes, mutations, or stressed cells that could, in theory, become cancer. Normally, your immune system spots these threats and eliminates them before they ever become a problem. T-cells patrol for unusual proteins, while natural killer cells act as first responders, destroying damaged or dangerous cells on the spot. But when this system begins to falter wither from age, chronic inflammation, poor lifestyle, or environmental stress cancer has an opening. Instead of being removed, those abnormal cells are allowed to grow, multiply, and eventually form tumors. In this sense, cancer isn't just bad luck or a random occurrence, it's the visible outcome of an invisible failure. 
the breakdown of the immune defenses that were supposed to keep you safe. And this is where Dr. Patrick Sunshing's perspective challenges the status quo. He argues that the real question isn't how do we kill cancer cells, it's why did the immune system fail to recognize and eliminate them in the first place. If you can fix the failure if you can repair and empower the immune system itself then you don't just treat cancer, you prevent it from returning. This shift in thinking moves cancer from being seen as a localized enemy to being understood as a systemic disease, a whole body problem that requires a whole body solution. And that's exactly what Dr. Sun Xiang set out to develop. Dr. Sun Xiang's breakthrough in Antiva, Dr. Patrick Sun Xiang doesn't see cancer as just a tumor. To him, it's as a signal proof that the immune system has failed in its most important job protecting you from internal threats. His life's work has been to figure out how to reignite that defense system, so it can once again detect and destroy dangerous cells before they spread. At the center of his research is a cell most people have never heard of the natural killer cell, often called an NK cell, discovered only in the 1970s. NK cells are some of the oldest and most powerful immune cells in the human body. They've existed for hundreds of millions of years, long before modern medicine acting as frontline soldiers that hunt down infected or abnormal cells. Unlike T-cells, which need time and instructions to respond, NK cells act instantly. They are the body's first responders, able to recognize and destroy anything that looks suspicious, from viruses to bacteria to early cancer cells. Dr. Sun Sheng realized that these NK cells, along with T-cells, are nature's built-in defense against cancer. The real problem wasn't that tumors are unbeatable. It's that our immune system sometimes goes dormant or gets tricked into ignoring them. If you could wake those immune cells back up, give them the signal and the strength to act, then the body itself could become the treatment. This insight led to the creation of Antiva, also known in clinical research as N803. Unlike chemotherapy, which attacks cancer directly, Antiva works by stimulating the immune system itself. It supercharges NK cells and T cells, making them more effective at recognizing attacking, and remembering cancer cells. Think of it like flipping a switch. Suddenly, the body's internal army is reactivated, stronger, faster, and smarter. The results in trials have been promising. In fact, Antiva has already been approved by the FDA for a difficult-to-treat condition BCGN, responsive non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. This is a type of cancer where traditional therapies often fail, and patients usually face the grim option of bladder removal. With Antiva, Many patients were able to activate their immune systems to fight the disease without resorting to such extreme measures. Dr. Sun Sheng calls this an enlightenment in cancer treatment. Instead of poisoning the body in hopes of shrinking a tumor, the focus shifts to restoring the natural immune surveillance that was designed to prevent cancer in the first place. In his words, chemotherapy and radiation are blunt instruments, while immune-based therapies are precision tools using the body's own intelligence to seek and destroy threats and he's not stopping with bladder cancer. Through his company Immunitibio and other ventures, he's working to expand the reach of NK cell therapies, T cell activators, and other forms of immunotherapy to a wide range of cancers. His long-term vision is to create treatments that don't just attack tumors, but fundamentally reset the immune system, transforming cancer care from toxic, temporary fixes into lasting, self-sustaining defenses. But there's an important catch. Antiva is a prescription-only drug available only to patients with specific conditions under medical supervision. It's not a super jab. You can walk into a clinic and get to boost your immunity. For healthy people, the best way to strengthen T-cells and NK-cells is still through lifestyle, nutrition, exercise, stress management, and environmental choices that support the immune system you already have. That's why, after exploring Dr. Sun Xiang's breakthrough, we turn to the practical side, what science says you can do today to keep your immune system resilient and your T-cells strong, lifestyle and longevity experts on boosting T-cells naturally. While Antiva and other cutting-edge immune therapies are designed for patients already battling cancer, most of us want to know what can we do right now to support our immune system, so it stays sharp for life. The good news is, some of the world's top researchers in longevity and functional medicine have spent years uncovering how everyday choices what you eat, how you move, even how you rest can directly influence the strength of your T-cells and natural killer cells. Let's look at the science-backed advice from four leaders in the field, Dr. Rhonda Patrick, Nutrition and Micronutrient Power. 
Dr. Rhonda Patrick, a PhD in biomedical science and founder of Found My Fitness, has become one of the clearest voices linking nutrition with immune health. She explains that T cells, like all immune cells, need raw materials to function vitamins, minerals, and fatty acids that act like fuel and communication signals. For example, vitamin D is absolutely essential. Without it, T cells often remain dormant, unable to fully activate. Zinc helps immune cells grow and mature, while magnesium supports the cellular energy they need to carry out their tasks. Omega-3 fatty acids from foods like salmon and sardines help regulate inflammation, making sure the immune system doesn't overreact or burn out. Patrick also highlights the benefits of sauna use, which mimics the effects of exercise. The heat stress activates proteins and immune pathways that boost surveillance, making the body more alert to threats, combined with strength training aerobic exercise, and intermittent fasting. She recommends a simple but powerful lifestyle, sunlight for vitamin D, a diet rich in vegetables, fermented foods, and fatty fish, plus consistent movement. Together, these habits can keep your immune system battle-ready. Dr. David Sinclair, slowing immune aging Harvard geneticist, Dr. David Sinclair studies aging at the cellular level, and his work shows how aging directly weakens the immune system. Over time, T-cells become less responsive due to epigenetic changes and mitochondrial decline, a process often called immune exhaustion. His focus is on strategies that slow down cellular aging so that the immune system stays younger for longer. He advocates intermittent fasting and caloric restriction to activate survival pathways in cells. He also points to cold exposure such as cold showers or ice baths as a way to build resilience and activate protective stress responses. On the supplement side, Sinclair has researched molecules like NMN, a precursor to NAD+, and resveratrol, both of which support mitochondrial energy production and DNA repair. While he doesn't market them as immune boosters directly, they may help preserve the vitality of immune cells as we age. His message is clear. Extend health span at the cellular level, and the immune system will naturally follow. Dr. Walter Longo, Fasting and Immune Renewal at the University of Southern California, Dr. Walter Longo has pioneered research on how fasting can reset the body. His studies show that prolonged fasting, around three to five days, pushes the body into a state where it clears out damaged or worn out immune cells. At the same time, stem cells in the bone marrow are activated to produce fresh T cells. This creates what he calls an immune system reboot. For those who can't or shouldn't do full water fasts, he designed the fasting-mimicking diet FMD a low-calorie, plant-based plan that produces many of the same regenerative effects, while still allowing some food. Longo's broader lifestyle advice is rooted in the Mediterranean diet, emphasizing plant foods, healthy fats, and minimal animal proteins. Too much animal protein, he argues, can accelerate aging. While a plant-focused approach supports longevity and immune resilience, Dr. Jeffrey Bland Functional medicine and inflammation control. Known as the father of functional medicine, Dr. Jeffrey Bland views the immune system as a finely tuned network, one that can be disrupted by chronic inflammation, environmental toxins, or poor gut health. Instead of just fighting disease once it appears, his approach focuses on creating the conditions for balance and resilience. For immune strength, he recommends a diverse, anti inflammatory diet full of colorful vegetables polyphenols from fruits and spices, and omega-3 fatty acids. Fermented foods are key too, since the gut microbiome and immune system are tightly connected, but Bland also emphasizes lifestyle beyond diet restorative sleep, stress reduction practices, and regular physical activity all play critical roles in how well the immune system performs. In his view, building immune resilience is about tending to the whole environment of the body, not just one piece. When we combine the insights of these four scientists, a clear picture emerges. You don't need futuristic drugs to start boosting your immune defenses today. By nourishing your body with the right nutrients, managing inflammation, exercising regularly, practicing fasting or sauna use, and reducing stress, you're essentially training your T-cells and NK-cells to stay alert and effective. In other words, while researchers like Dr. Sunsheng are working on breakthrough therapies for those already facing cancer. The rest of us can take simple, science-based steps every day to strengthen the natural defense system we already have. For decades, 
the fight against cancer has been framed as a battle against a tumor, something foreign, growing inside the body that must be cut out, burned away, or poisoned. But Dr. Patrick Sunshang's work turns that idea on its head. He reminds us that cancer is not just the enemy, it's a message. It s the body s way of signaling that the immune system has failed to do its job, and if we can restore that system, then the body itself can become the cure. His drug, Antiva, is one of the first major steps in that direction, a treatment that doesn't kill cancer directly, but instead reawakens the immune system's natural soldiers, T-cells and natural killer cells. It represents a shift from toxic, short-term fixes to long-term, systemic healing. And while Antiva is still limited to specific patients under clinical care, its very existence signals where the future of cancer treatment is heading, empowering the body's own defenses rather than fighting against them. At the same time, the research from leading longevity experts makes it clear that we don't have to wait for the next generation of therapies to take action through everyday choices sunlight and nutrient-rich foods, fasting and exercise, sleep and stress management. We can support the same immune pathways that protect us from cancer, infections, and the chronic diseases of aging. The old story of cancer was about destruction, cutting, burning, and poisoning in the hope of survival. The new story is about restoration, giving your body the tools to do what it was always designed to do. So as we look forward, two truths stand out. First, the mainstream pharmaceutical model, built on endlessly treating tumors, is no longer enough. Second, the future of cancer care lies in a partnership, revolutionary therapies like Antiva for those who need them, and science-backed lifestyle strategies for everyone else. Cancer doesn't have to be a lifelong shadow. Whether through breakthrough treatments or simple daily choices, the power to defend ourselves has always been inside us. The challenge now is to awaken it.